What's up everybody, it's Anis here and welcome to another episode from Marbella. Today we're checking out this incredible newly constructed modern home designed by Diego Tobal, facing these breathtaking views. Here are the specs on the property and this home is about 95% complete and normally we're used to touring homes that are staged and fully finished but this home is so cool that we wanted to come out here and show you guys a sneak peek of this amazing estate. Once it's complete, it will be listed for 20 million euros, exclusively listed with Soldela. So I want to give big thanks to Soldela family for allowing us to tour another one of their amazing listings. And now let's begin our tour. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. They have this beautiful stack stone finish on the exterior walls. And coming in, you have this really unique staircase design that takes you to the front door. I love these offset stairs and steps. And coming in here, we have a water feature that sets the mood as you walk into the property. You have a water feature wall on that side. And looking at some of the architectural details here, Beautiful, sleek, modern home with a lot of overhang designs. Smooth stucco complemented with this natural stone texture that we're gonna see throughout the property with this stainless steel reveal, if you look closely. I love this bonsai olive tree on the left. Very tranquil, very green, very peaceful entry coming into this home. Now, let's take a look at this massive glass pivot door. And as soon as we walk in, look at this. You got this incredible spiral staircase in front of you with a massive picture wall, skylight above, and they also call these staircases helicoidal. So I wanted to mention that. I mean, look at the design here. Curved glass, risers with LED lighting, natural stone clad throughout, the curvature going up. It's an art piece on its own. Yeah, really nice. What was it called again? Helicoidal. Helicoidal. That's right. Okay. It's a cool name. Spiral staircase, helicoidal. That's right. All right, let's come in here. Also, I want to briefly mention something. So this home is about 95% complete, meaning house itself is pretty finished, but they don't have any furniture or staging yet. Some of the light fixtures, some of the finishes, or some of the rooms are even not fully ready. But since we are here in Marbella for a short period of time, and once we saw this property, we were like, we got to shoot something here. This house is so gorgeous. Architect here, Diego, did such a phenomenal job. Honestly, I see this home in Bel Air, $60 million price tag. Easy. Easily. So we have Diego here, who is the architect of this project. Diego, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, Ennis. House looks stunning. Lines, architecture, scale, everything about it, ceiling heights, views, 10 out of 10. I love it. That's why we want to come here, even though it's not fully finished yet. It has so much going on that we want to show it to everyone. Now, I want to ask you a couple questions. Let's first talk about the lot and how this house is situated. I see these stone uh, retaining walls below us. Tell us the overall plot here. The plot is very, very vertical, which is what makes it nice. It's on the top of a hillside, dominant position. You have beautiful views out to the sea, and we try to make use of that. So we've staged the, the, the house in different levels. You come in and you have like a general level where the main living areas are, and the pool, which is the center of it all. And then the house goes up to the master bedroom level, and then below to the leisure level and you have a nice promontory uh, uh, view on top of the golf course below. Look at these views. Breathtaking, infinity edge pool, sunken seating area. Look at the size of these sliding glass doors. Seriously, Massive. look at the scale. Massive, they're automatic as well. By the way, this is your formal living room area. You have chevron pattern hardwood floors complemented with a natural stone walkway that takes you to the kitchen. Ceiling heights are incredible, wood class ceilings. You have the bridge connecting the junior primary bedroom to the primary bedroom on that side. Linear fireplace. You have additional sliding glass doors here. That way you can literally have natural light, fresh air coming into the space. Yeah, let me show everyone how this works real quick. Do it, Mikey. There you go, one push of a button. Sander opens up, 
Look at the seamless transition. They even have the grout lines perfectly aligned. That's your front lawn area. That alone could be a great backyard on its own. I mean, just gorgeous, beautiful home. And Mikey, let's get a close up. Same finish detail on the exterior as well. You have this nice reveal detail. Look at the texture on the stone. They brought that to the interiors too. Coming in here, we got a powder room on this side. I just love the fabrication of these stone pedestal vanities and ceiling mount fixtures. Water closet, another water closet. This one is designed like a, almost like a kind of party bathroom. You know, like it's like you have a big living room, you're gonna entertain. You can accommodate a couple of people here. Is the water running? Fine right here. There we go. Get that joy, hidden drain. You know, we see a lot of people in the comments who are like, thank you, Mikey, for making us turn that sink yeah. on. You know, this is one of those things I have a hard time understanding why it's so satisfying, but hey, if our viewers wants to see it, we're gonna do it. That's right. Beautiful marble wall here, book match, of course, LED lit on the back, and I also wanna mention something. These are temporary lights. These are not the real light fixtures. They have it just to kind of light up the space. And uh, coming in here, we have the kitchen and the family room. I just love how minimalist this kitchen is, and I feel like it's an overused word, right? It almost feels effortless, and you got this island in the center with multi-level countertops. I love this wood addition over here, it extends out. That's also like your little bar area. Everything is paneled, you have your pantry spaces, fridge, freezer, island, induction cooktop with a teppanyaki. Oh, top on the one left. Of your, one of your dreams, right? I know. This is what I want. I really do. And uh, look, look at the cabinets here. Mikey, can we get a close up? The finish on this thing is like some sort of a bronze and stainless steel mix. It's so sharp, like looks wise. You have your fridge here. Very clean. Very clean. I just love that they're paneled. You have the wine fridge on this side. Gorgeous kitchen. All right, automatic sliding glass doors open up. Mikey, actually, let's start here. By the way, that's your family room. I love the pattern in the center. Anytime there's some sort of a seating area, it seems like they're basically putting these hardwood floors right in the center of the rooms. Now, exposed steel columns, I love these. It's just such a different take on, you know, making a column, but rather than having like a concrete base, you have the steel columns that are a little bit more exposed, a little bit more light, and it allows the space to breathe a little bit. Are those wrapped in something, or is that like how they look like into the ground? That's the coating on it. Okay. So it's not like an I-beam under that. No, this no? is this is the thing. That's it. That's it. Okay. And that's it. Stone floors, drains tucked underneath. That way you get these smooth floors. And coming in, look at these views. This is amazing. Mediterranean seat in front of us. We have the Los Flamingos Golf Club down below. Golf course looks stunning. You have a side yard here. You can literally watch people hitting balls. Yeah. If you're a golfer yourself, you can chip some balls right down there. Nice to have. Lifestyle in my bed, dude. It's yeah. great out We've here. seen a lot of places here. This is probably the best view we've seen. And that's really why we wanted to come in here. The house isn't finished, like Anna said. There's still a few little details that need to be tied up. But we're leaving Marbella in a few days. And we just had to come out and take a look at this before we left. Had to. And can you imagine this place with furniture, everything dialed in, fixtures, all that, perfect lighting? Hopefully we don't have to. Hopefully we're back here in a few months. Absolutely. And we shoot it once it's fully completed. All right, coming here, where do I start? F pool is there. Let's actually go this way. I love this olive tree and how they kind of positioned it between kind of inside of this overhang detail. Look setting, again, the architect here, he's known for his powerful, aggressive cantilevers and look at this one in front of me, no columns. Looks so amazing. Obviously it serves a great job of protecting some of these massive sliding glass doors, but also architecturally, it makes the house look so cool. We have this sunken seating area here with these really small recessed in LED lights. I love that. I think that's the smallest one. I'm assuming at night it just looks very sharp and crisp. You know, just letting you know where the stairs are. Yeah. You have the fire pit in the center. And since this is a sunken section, you're right next to your pool, infinity edge, Baja shelf on that side. We have the water jets here. Can't get over the views. What was the most challenging thing about this house and this build? Probably, probably the structure. The structure is tricky, it's not conventional. We, we like to do these massive cantilevers and to be able to do them, we use a structural system that we normally use on bridge construction. That plus the fact that it's on a very steep hill with a lot of excavation with very little uh, space around to work, that was very challenging. 
Absolutely, because when you push the house to its limits on the hillside, that means you're using as much of surface as possible, but that leaves no surface to actually work around and build the forms and that kind of stuff, right? Exactly, and all of that complication uh, uh, came on top of the pandemic because we built this house during the pandemic. We started in October 2019 and uh, well, a few months later we were all tucked away at home and we couldn't really uh, uh, do much. So it was, it was a tricky process. Gotcha. As someone who designs modern homes, when you look at other people's projects, what are some of the things that you look at? I love character in architecture. I'm not so concerned on style. Um, some houses can be classical and have character, can be traditional and have character, can be modern and have character. For me, that's what defines good architecture. Uh, also, if they are practical to live in, uh, some houses are beautiful for photographs, but they don't work. Um, and I like to look at how things are structured and how things are organized to see if, if it really does what it's meant to be, to be a home, to be cozy, to be friendly, to be uh, inviting. Um, I like to look at those sort of things. Let's move forward. Another olive tree here. That way you have a really nice symmetry on the backyard. I love these metal aluminum clad screen details that runs all the way to the second floor. Sliding glass doors on this side, opening up to another bedroom on this level that we're gonna check out in a bit. And coming here, we have another very aggressive cantilever partially covered patio space. Look at this entire steel assembly above us. Look at these columns, the size, the engineering, the amount of welding, the amount of polishing and grinding they had to do to design this entire thing. Are these beams structural? Are these locked lock into the hillside also? These columns are what's holding above us. Okay, so it doesn't lock the actual space or lock the the a structure into the hillside as well, no? Absolutely, I'm sure they have concrete They're footers. not like caissons? Yeah, I'm sure, absolutely. We're on the hillside. This property has a really big retaining wall and like it's holding a lot of dirt from yeah. the hillside. But uh, I'm just amazed with the space. I love this steel canopy design above us and how it's not perfectly symmetrical. The cantilever on this side is a little bit more aggressive and even your planters, your bar setup, the cabinetry here, everything about it is very custom and very uh, bespoke. Now. We gotta walk all the way to the edge because I think this is where we get the best views in this house. Uh, again, golf course down below us, amazing views. You do feel like you're on top of the world from here. Yeah, and it feels like we're a little bit outside of the city. Uh, a little bit more land out here. The lots are a little bit bigger. A little bit more set back. Yeah, a little bit more set back. Um, you have these like kind of wide open views and it's really nice. Absolutely, it's gorgeous. All right. Let's go back to the house. By the way, look at the exterior architecture. I mean, again, the cantilevers, the stone finish, these aluminum louvers, everything about it. It looks very sleek and elegant. And like I mentioned earlier, I can easily see this home in Bel Air with a $60 million price tag. Now, let's come to the side yard. We're taking an interesting route here, but we have the sliding glass doors opened up. And this is where we have the first bedroom on this level, hardwood floors, you have built-in closets throughout the hallways and here with panel ceilings. And let's take a look at this bathroom. I mean, finishes here. First off, I love these set forward vanities. It's not something we see every day. They have a mirror wall all behind it. They have two faucets. Everything is fabricated with the lines and how the lines match the cabinetry, has the LED lighting down below, your towel rack, and spacious walk-in shower with the rain head that still has the plastic cover and you have the water closet here. Beautiful bathroom, and we're gonna see a lot more of these bathrooms and bedrooms throughout our tour. That's it for the first floor. Now let's go back to the stairs so we can check out the lower level. I just can't get over how cool this staircase looks. I mean, look at the lines here, LED lighting, and Mike, can we pan up to the ceiling? I mean, the ceiling height of this room or this particular part of the house, which is basically the center of the home, is insane skylight above us curvature details and as soon as you land to the lower floor you're looking at your amazing indoor pool in fact let's go take a look so we have this door opening up to the spa before we go to the indoor pool i want to show a couple of the amenities here gorgeous walk-in shower stone finishes lines 
fixtures, everything looks stunning. And coming here, we have another one of these vanity setups that are set forward in cabinetry, lines, stone fabrication. It is stunning and in fact, like there's a really good separation between the mirror back wall and the vanity here. It's like we saw in the bedroom upstairs. Absolutely. Another walk-in shower here. Again, stone clad throughout, wood ceilings. And coming in, we have the steam room. I accidentally turned it on. Exactly, I was gonna say we accidentally turned it on. But uh, it looks great, Mikey, look at this. Gorgeous. That's really nice. I like how you can't tell where the ceilings start and the walls end. It has a nice illusion to it, and I like that they have the lighting underneath the bench seating, that way you can't really see ceiling that well. We have a powder room here, fabricated sink, again, gorgeous finishes, sauna on this side, beautiful spa. Now I wanna take everybody back to the hallway so we can take a look at the indoor pool. And it starts right here, massive sliding glass doors, pack it into the wall, opens up to your indoor pool, and I'm assuming that's the gym. And they have a nice landing area here. Probably will be the seating section for this area. And look at the size of this indoor pool. Seamless transition from the floors into the pool. Mosaic tile throughout, LED lighting, picture window on the other side facing the views, ceiling heights, everything about it is pretty stunning. And what was the price of this place again? 18 million euros. Uh, yeah, you really get uh, bang for your buck here in Marbella. Um... You do. This, this would be an outrageous price in LA. Yeah, I mean, easy. $60, $70 million home in Bel Air. Yeah. You have the gym here. Again, great space, rubber floors. These sliding glass doors open up. Pretty straightforward. Now, let's go back to the landing of the lower floor so we can continue our tour. The scale of this home. Look at the seating area here for the lower level. The ceiling heights. By the way, I want to mention, Halfway between the main floor and the lower level, we actually have this bridge right here, taking us to a hallway where you have the staff quarters, and that same hallway also takes you to the four car garage that's located between the main floor and the lower level. We also have another separate driveway that takes you to that garage as well. And again, this would be your seating area off of the lower level. And coming in, let's go take a look at some of the bedrooms on this level. I said level a million times, but you know, we're traveling up and down. We're on the level. Absolutely, I wanna make sure everybody gets where we are. Walk and shower, again, same finishes. Architect here really kind of unified some of the textures throughout the home. And this is really interesting, right? So you have your fabricated vanity, open towel rack on the bottom, that's a glass wall. So from your bedroom, you can see your bathroom. And I'm assuming because of the separation here, you can either run some sort of an automatic shade or you can fog up the glass panel here to have some privacy. Now, I wanna take everybody to the bedroom. Starts here, hardwood floors. I love these tall baseboards. Sliding glass doors opening up to the lower level. They have some scaffolding here since this home is still under construction. Now, let's go back to the living room area. And right next door, we have another bedroom that I wanna quickly take a look. It starts here. By the way, a lot of bedrooms and bathrooms in this house. Your walk-in closet. Hallway takes you to the bedroom, same style bathroom and vanity design, and another one with sliding glass doors, looking towards the views. I'm sure once this home is complete, it will look just incredible. It already looks so good, and that's why we wanted to come out here. Now, one more room to see on the lower level. I mean, there are a lot more to see, but I wanna at least show some of the fundamentals. So, a few other bedrooms, storage areas, and this one will be the movie theater which will be this great spot. And uh, another bedroom here. Lower level of this home is pretty spectacular. I mean, the volume scale, the amount of space you get is pretty cool. And that wraps our tour here. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the second floor. Second floor, we have two primary bedroom suites. Junior one is right behind me. Let's have a quick look. I love these recessed floor lights. Elevator access here, by the way, it goes to all three levels. Door opens up and you go straight into a bedroom. I mean, views gets better, hardwood floors throughout, ton of natural light coming in, wood class ceilings giving you that warmth. And I just love these sliding glass doors with a thin profile, they're all motorized, push of a button, they open, they close. And this junior primary bedroom suite has its own wraparound balcony with glass railing. 
exposed steel columns. Bedroom looks great. It might be actually it's, go this way because we can go to the bathroom too. Pocket door, closet space here, skylight above us bringing natural light. And going through here, we have the bathroom. Same textures that we've been seeing throughout, but a little bit of a different application. We have a wall mount floating vanity design with same countertops with cabinetry, towel heaters, water closet, walk-in shower, stunning. Automatic glass door to a Juliet balcony. Yeah, I'm just gonna surprise you in all these rooms. I'm just gonna keep opening. Yeah, I wasn't ready. I didn't even know this one was motorized too. Yeah, they all are. Amazing, amazing. Now let's go back to the landing so we can check out the actual primary bedroom suite. And I forgot to mention this when we're in front. House has these steel shutter details that we can see a little bit closer here since we're on the second floor that really breaks the sunlight coming into the house and it just looks super, super cool. And coming back to the landing right above the staircase, we have this entire section, skylight above us, and it just brings the natural light throughout the entire property. Automatic shades. Automatic shades also, that's right. Now, we are on the bridge. Mikey, can we show the views? I mean, you're looking down on your formal living room area. Amazing, amazing views. Stunning, gorgeous property. More of these steel shutter details. And we have this door opening up to the primary bedroom suite. I'm gonna start with the door on our right-hand side. Takes us to the first walk-in closet. Paneled in, LED lights, hangers, skylight, wood tones. And coming in here, we have the first bathroom. Again, house is still under construction. They're still tying up some of the details and finishes. All these wires will serve for your LED lit mirror, wall sconces and all that good stuff. Vanity, cabinetry, towel rack on the bottom. Very tasteful, minimalist, and we have more automatic sliding glass doors here. This time, we're facing the back of the home and we're right in front of the olive tree that we pointed out at the backyard. Now coming in, Mikey, can we get a close up? Look at the size of this walk-in shower. Seriously, rain head above. You have your fixtures, controls there. You have this niche design with LED lighting. I can't even touch the walls. Barely I can reach both sides. I like the design they have on the walls too. It's like geometric cubes. It's very cool. Yeah, and it creates a nice contrast and breaks the pattern here with the lighter toned stones. Now, let's go check out the next walk-in closet and bathroom. Since we have two of them here, Coming back, again, skylight above us too. Door opens up. This closet is a little bit more linear. Same finishes, LED lighting, cabinetry. And coming in, we have this door opening up to the bathroom. And this one comes with a freestanding tub that looks gorgeous, has a nice textured back stone. Vanity here that's set forward, just like the previous ones that we saw, facing the front of the home. And we can get a closer look at these steel louver shutter details. Again, I think they look great. And walk-in shower, rain head, water closet, gorgeous, unified finishes. Now, let's go take a look at the bedroom itself, which is just incredible. It starts right here, and look at this room. I'm just gonna let the room speak for itself. The scale here is just unbelievable. You have this wood-clad wall here, which I'm assuming, or like this is where you would put your king-size bed, and they'll probably have some sort of a seating area here. And obviously the entire corner opens up, automatic sliding glass doors, aggressive cantilever above us, exposed steel columns, and we have these floating stone deck here and your views. Glass railing takes nothing away from it. And this balcony here gives you a lot of privacy from the properties that are down below you looking up to your house. And just the scenery here, how quiet it is, the way the air feels, the way this place makes you feel. It's great. Yeah, it's really incredible. You all know how I feel about it. You heard me talk about it downstairs, so I'm not gonna repeat myself, but I will say I really like Spain and I hope we come back here soon. Absolutely. And that's it for our tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll leave more information about this property in the description. Make sure to check that out. I hope we come back out here to tour this amazing place once it's all completed. And I wanna give big thanks to Sol Villa again for allowing us to tour another one of their amazing listings. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.